Howdy folks, it is General Heat here. How is everyone doing today? So, for today's video, well, we are going to once again be taking a look at the prepared drop intro cutscene for ODST. Only this time, we are going to be taking a specific closer look at the destroyed ship over New Mombasa. So, during this cutscene, right after you uh, drop, there is a UNSC frigate that's uh, blown up in half over uh, over the city in orbit actually very much in low orbit but um we don't really know what the name of that ship is it's never actually explained uh in game so let's uh let's take a quick look at what it looks like normally in the cutscene so here's the frigate that i'm talking about right here this one that's blown up in half and just floating there so like I said, in game the name of the ship is never mentioned, and this is the only time we ever see that ship when we're dropping down, and we just you know whiz by it really quickly. So, to figure out what the name of that ship is, we are gonna do uh, the mod that we use to take a look at the Anne Amber Clad in this cutscene. Only this time, instead of flying towards the Anne Amber Clad, we're gonna use this mod to fly around during the cutscene and take a look at that ship up close. Now, before we uh, get to that ship. I do want to mention that that ship indeed does have a name in lore, in canon. It does actually have an official name. So just keep that in mind before we get there. Some of you may or may not know it already, uh, but we will uh, cover that in a bit. So let's, uh, let's fly down and take a look now. So there is the ship. And while we're flying down, <laughs> as promised, I will always provide a new pun for every video now. So this pun I actually heard during the Emmys, um, and I really liked it a lot, so I'll be sharing it with you guys. Um, <clears throat> so did you guys hear about that new restaurant on the moon? It's got good food, but no atmosphere. <laughs> All right, anyways, here we are at the ship. So as you can see, it is indeed just a standard frigate. Um, but, as we get closer, you will start to see more details of it. And, if you guys remember my, one of my previous videos, the In Amber Clad, that's uh, in this cutscene at the bottom, even though it's so far away, it is like a full detailed model, and it has the In Amber Clad name on it, and the correct serial number, which is surprising, because, you know, it's strange that Bungie would actually uh, go to the trouble of doing that, for something that people won't be able to see. Well, likewise, on this ship, it does have a correct serial number on it, FFG127. But the name of the ship, it says HU underscore mill underscore ship. So, what is this ship actually? Is it actually the UNSC HU underscore mill underscore ship? <laughs> no, it is not. The FFG127 is actually the UNSC uh, Chia Glossa. I may have pronounced that wrong, but that is the official name in Halo Lore and Halo Canon. And the serial numbers do match up. So what's the deal with the HU underscore mill underscore ship? Well, first off, the Halo Wiki actually lists this incorrectly, because I guess nobody before this managed to fly up this close to the ship. From far away, they probably saw something else. The Halo Wiki lists it as um, HAL mill ship, short for Halo military ship. But the Halo Wiki is actually wrong. It is actually HU mill ship, which obviously stands for human military ship. Um, so, that name is probably just some placeholder uh, default name for the ship, and I guess whoever put this there, they added the serial number for the ship, but they forgot to add the actual correct name, the Chioglosa, and they just left it as the default placeholder name instead, which is probably a human military ship, which is like a generic name for UNSC ships in the game files. Um, but, you know, it, that's, uh, that's just what I believe, at least. Um, uh, there could be another reason why they left it at that. It could just be um, they, you know, they thought nobody would see it, so they didn't bother. But you know, I don't think that's the case because they they changed the serial number to be correct. So I'm guessing it's just an oversight, and they forgot someone forgot to change the name of the rest of the ship. Uh, but it's still uh, it's still pretty good attention to detail. Uh, it's not just another Ford Under Dawn copy. Uh, yeah, it's the same model as the Ford Under Dawn. Uh, this is the destroyed section of the Ford on the Dawn at the end of Halo 3. But at least they changed the name and serial numbers. In Halo 3 cutscenes, it's just like multiple copies of the Ford on the Dawn with the same name and serial numbers. But at least here they made a half effort to, uh, to change the name and number on the ship. They got one thing correct, and the other I think they just left as the placeholder. Um, but, you know, at least 
it's a little different and it's not just a straight up for another dawn <laughs> But yeah, so hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this and found this to be interesting. Uh, and if you guys did like this, make sure to leave a like as always. And uh, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. If there's anything else you need to check out or look into, just let me know. And I'll do my best to, uh, to check it out. And other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.